Good afternoon, everybody. Do not be deceived by the sunlight behind me. We're not going out to the parks just yet. I'm home from work to finish the day off here. Um, Sarah has to go run some errands and some unexpected errands around around the neighborhood and she needed the car, so I'm gonna finish off my work day here at home. So I'm making some, some coffee right now and spilling the water everywhere. So yes, I do keep my coffee in the freezer. I thank everybody for the coffee we've gotten over the past probably two months. Got so much of it from Christmas gifts, some ones from Kent, delicious. One's from Georgia. I believe it's Georgia, right? Yeah, super good. Louisiana, Georgia, Ohio. I don't actually know where holiday where this is made. Let me know if you know where how holiday blend is. And I think I'm gonna go with Jittery Joe's Midnight Project Espresso Blend today. Coffee is ready to go. I got my birthday present from Jenna. My Epcot 35th anniversary cup from Starbucks that I thought was sold out on the day of the actual anniversary, but apparently they got more in. Um, I have a confession. I need all of my British friends to help me. I need a good place to buy, I don't know what they're called, like teaspoons or stirring dishes. I need something to put my spoon on that's not a piece of paper because that really upsets Sarah. By now, we are at Hollywood Studios. Yay! It smells like barbecue chicken. Yes. Since I <laughs> since I worked since I finished my work day at home, we were able to like uh, we we like gained all that travel time home from the office. So we're like, you know what? Studios open until eight. We got really lucky with actually we got Star Wars, Rock and Roller Coaster, and Tower of Terror fast passes, but we couldn't make it in time for the Star Wars. That was just like a like a a, ice, kicker. a kicker on top. But we're gonna do this. We just did that. We're gonna go do Tower, and then we're gonna go do the uh, Star Wars Spectacular because we haven't like fully watched it. Besides, we've been able to show you guys. So. Right. So hopefully we'll get some good solid stuff of that because first time it was pouring rain and I burned my eye from my gel. If you remember that one. And then every other time, every other time we've been super far back because it's been like leaving Phantasmic or not a priority. So tonight, it's a priority. Tonight's story of the Twilight Zone is somewhat unique and calls for a different kind of introduction. We invite you if you dare to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to... <laughs> We've got about 40 minutes until firework time, and it's slow today. I think it has to do with the temperature and the cheerleading national competition being over with. Holiday the holiday weekend's over, so like it's slow right now. Like to give you any frame, Toy Story's 20 minutes right now. It's power with power 15. But we're gonna we're gonna go wait for a firework spot like 20 minutes to show time because it's so cold. I think we touched base the other day when we bought that nice print from Epcot that we have a lot of really nice Disney stuff like to make a really nice Disney room or like little museum. And this is one of the pieces that we need to get put in like a shadow box in the hung. This small miniature train set, it was called the Carrollwood Pacific Railroad, it was in Walt's backyard in California. Sarah actually bought me 
an original chunk of like this railroad. It's about this big on a foam board with the history of it. And it's just hanging out in our second bedroom in storage because we've never framed it and we need to we need to get on that. We do, we need a lot of things framed. We welcome you to a Hollywood that never was and always will be. Disney's Hollywood Studios presents Disney Movie Magic. And it's like the video does not do it justice because one we can't put all the music in there because we'll get kicked out of like 30 countries if we put all that Star Wars stuff in there. Um, but it was super cool because it's immersive, so it's hard to get all the different angles yeah. of all the My fireworks because they were fireworks part the whole time. It's the first like theme song where it's like. Yeah. But definitely get somewhere in that center courtyard where the hat used to be if you're gonna come watch that because you need to feel how like immersive and everything it is. We're back home because it's absolutely freezing and I'm gonna go on a run. And am I burning the house down right now? You see this? It's it's you never get used to I feel like you never get used to electric stove tops when you grew up with gas. Um, but have you ever had let me know down below if you've had ice wine tea. Our friends uh, Peter and Marion gave us some because I like to pretend like I drink tea sometimes, so <laughs> it's... What, is that funny? Yeah. There's laying on the ground with Eve right now. 
It is literally feels so cold outside because it's like, but it's only 46 and it's mind boggling that it feels so cold because it feels like it's in the 20s. But long story short, I'm going on a run, but I'm gonna have a cup of tea first and change into like a sweatsuit because it's freezing out. I might wear gloves and a hat. We will see. Off he goes. I'll probably go to do this ridiculous run because it's freezing. I've got two sweatshirts on and I don't have, I've got winter gloves. I don't have like cotton gloves. So I'm wearing like work my, gloves. my work construction gloves because it's freezing. Okay, I'm back home. Um, I went longer than I thought I was going to, but I think I did it on purpose because I had the realization that I'm not gonna go running tomorrow and need, I need a rest day anyway because we're doing something really fun tomorrow because actually today is Cole's birthday, so put a happy birthday down below. And yesterday was Dom's birthday, so put a happy birthday down below. Um, but we're going to celebrate Cole's birthday tomorrow night and then after I have to do record our podcast with Dom, so it'll be a real late night tomorrow, but a lot of fun. So I'm not gonna run tomorrow, so I went a little bit further than I thought today, but Sarah fell asleep. It's late, so I'm gonna wake her up and we're gonna get ready for bed and get some rest. But thank you for following along with us. Star Wars was awesome, Hub Seuss was awesome. We still wanna do Fantasmic Friday this week, so if you're in the area, let us know. Everything looks like we will be going unless something changes with Christina, um, then we should be there Friday as well. But with that, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.